ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Genshin Impact. Oh yes. I need to remember to start doing my logins, because you've just reminded me that that's a thing, and I- That's like- What? Well, wait. I have enough, I have, I have enough days, but I, I totally have been forgetting to do that. Wow. Oh, flip. So, I can only miss one more day, or I'm gonna miss out. You're gonna miss out on five <laughs> whole poles? Ah, that sounds awful. No. Wow. Astra. But also before that. Oh, you I do that one thing. Do that one thing. <gasps> oh right, you found the thing. Yes. Daniel has something to show us, guys. Cuz they've now updated some areas of the map and they've added some new enemies. Like that boy down there. Dude, look how cool he looks. Have you he have is. you fought this yet? Nope. Okay. So we're going into this blind. Sure am. I don't know if he's just big animal. Oh, he's got a baby! Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Okay. Consecrated scorpion. Arthropod that, would, that was warped and transformed by its consumption of the body of a mighty life form. During combat, it will enter a powerful... Photogenic? I, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. <laughs> it enters a form. Some of its attacks will unleash potent elemental blocks. Use the corresponding elemental attacks to destroy these elemental blocks. To bleh, wait, what? To absorb the power within them, uh, which can then be unleashed when attacking the consecrated scorpion, dealing in significant damage and paralyzing the creature temporarily. So hit this stuff it spits out with electricity, suck it up, and bah! What if you don't have the element? Uh, use the element. <laughs> Sucks to be you then, I guess. Looks like it. Also, this is the first time we're using Al Haytham the fight stuff in the video. Whoa. And he's pretty freaking good. Ah. Uh, okay, he doesn't have that much health though, so watch out. I have stamina. Oh, that's pretty sick. Oh. Whoa. Well, those 10 seconds were pretty hype, guys, I tell you. Sure were. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, that's so cool. What the flip? Oh, okay. And, okay, so just survive long enough. He does the thing. Here you are. Dude, that's pretty Fuck. sick. What <laughs> thing? You didn't explode? By the way, I want to point out that Nails El Haytham is level 40 with basically zero artifacts on and yet he's doing 15,000 damage! What the flip, me, ho yo! Your point? Okay, so that's just what is, one big What the circle. flip? Oh, that is so sick. Me, ho yo, you outdone yourself with these new enemies. Okay. You do have alt, by the way. I'm not gonna waste it right now. Oh. Waste it? You can't waste an alt in Genshin. Unless you don't use it. That is the only way you can waste it. I want to proc the free stuff. Oh, okay. What is with this damage? Oh, you're not dead. I thought you were like exploding or something. He's not dead yet. Not dead yet. Illusion shattered. Dead with me. Can that? Okay, so that attack is only close. Oh. The poor man. You drop. Yeah. Saw that in the shop. Oh, that's a new thing. Yeah, sturdy shells. Oh, freaking boy. That's gonna be a pain in the farm. <laughs> Probably. Uh -oh. Well, if you have a built team, it's gonna be, you know. No, nah, I know, but finding them, since oh. they're elite enemies around. Does the journal tell you where they are? Uh, you could probably track them. I'm guessing you can track them. I thought that was different for some reason. Uh, enemies. Elite enemies, I'd assume they'd be considered. Oh, oh, it's a new Wait. type of enemy. So it's not just scorpions. It's not just scorpions. It's also the bird. It's also the bird and maybe other ones, or at least they're planning probably to add other ones. That's cool. I'm actually fine with that because it will make it way easier to get that stuff. So they spawn where there's big dead animals or what, what was it? They feast on life. Yeah, they feast on powerful dead life forms. So this snake. So there's probably one also on dragon spine. Probably, actually. Yeah, you're right. 
the flip are you doing here? Who the frick are you? I can't collect that with that. This is the kid that you can follow for uh, Tamar, Tamar, yeah, whatever the flip it is. The hide and seek. Oh, the hide and seek ball. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no. I remember him. Anime. If you want uh, stamps, he's a good way to do it. Gotcha. Oh, he's not marked on your map. Dude, wait, yo, go back to the art. I, I haven't played Genshin Impact for like the last week, which is a very sad thing. This but or Paimon. No, 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 the Ganyu art. That, oh, uh, what very the, wholesome. what the flip. That artwork, whoever did that, nice. Nice. I wonder how many of those consecrated things are around. I don't know. Because the only ones they showed off in the live stream was the scorpion and the bird, but I wonder if they have any others. There may or be they're, more. I mean, they're probably going to add they, more. They can also make more. So, let's give it a bop. Beep. Dude, I'm going to be honest. I'm really excited to see what Ganyu's quest is going to hold for us. A lot of talking. Probably a lot of talking, because this is an older story quest. This is one of the first ones. No. Yeah, no, it's definitely one of the first ones. No, wait, uh, check. Yes, claim. Here we go. Check, return the quest screen. Oh, there we there go. It is. Time for some talking. Freaking 4,000 meters away, what the heck? By the sea. Is yet an ocean breeze. Okay, right. We have to put ourselves in the mindset. We just saved Leeway. Or is this before then? Uh, this would have been after Child. And all that jazz. Gotcha. So that is when this story is taking place. But I'm guessing they made it to fit in anywhere. Maybe. Oh, it's the secretary. Sup, sup. Oh, yeah. You guys are out of a job. At this point. It's shocking how much work there is to do, even for the three of us. What is voice acting? Thank you, Jesus. And she's been handling it alone all along. The Chising secretary clearly isn't an ordinary person. It's so frustrating. Huh? She is, in fact, not You're... an ordinary person. Oh, they're feeling inferior to Ganyu. I'm here, Ningguang's servants. How come you're here? The palace was destroyed, Paimon. <laughs> we are Miss Ningguang's private secretaries, not servants. Your servants, don't kid yourself. <sighs> Have you seen Miss Ganyu, Traveler? No. Nope. It has been several days since Ganyu left for Joyun Karst. She's the general secretary of the Liyue Chising. We've only taken over her responsibilities until she gets back. Oh, Ganyu does so much. They're like swamped now. Ah. That's what's happening here. So what okay. did you guys do before? Uh, they do what secretaries do. I guess. I don't know what that is, but you know. What happened? Uh, even though the Chising have made peace with the Adepti after the latter had denounced Liyue, they still want to pay their respects to the Illuminated Ones. Oh yeah, this was happening. They commissioned Ganyu as their envoy to deliver a letter to Julian Karst and bring the Adepti the latest news about the crisis. Still, Ganyu should have been back to her usual responsibilities by now, but she's disappeared without a trace. Bro, what if she fell asleep? She I can see that happening. She's sleep deprived, so I mean... She goes somewhere and finds like, oh, this is enough. <laughs> just sleeps for a week. Is that so? Heck yeah. Maybe Ganyu just took a little detour. Who can blame her after working so hard? Yeah. I'm afraid it's not very likely. Ever since we met Ms. Ganyu, she's been nothing but the most conscientious person in all of Liyue. Mm. Even when it's time for her annual leave, Ms. Ganyu stays on duty at Yuahai Pavilion saying, there is still so much to do. <laughs> ah, she's a workaholic. She couldn't possibly be using her mission as an excuse to slack off. Uh, yeah, no, that's... It, it would be accidentally slacking off, if anything. Mm, it would be called sleeping. How terrible. Oh, Paimon sees how it is. But she's half adeptus. She wouldn't get in trouble, right? Why do you look so upset? Because they're having to pick up her work. <sighs> it's because of this absurd workload of hers. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, she's like a super worker. Got it. She does everything. <sighs> When we first heard the three of us would be taking over for Miss Ganyu, we thought it would simply be a matter of changing our work environment. Uh. We couldn't have imagined that Miss Ganyu's daily workload far exceeds what the three of us are used to doing. Shouldn't you get back to work? 
We don't even know how long we've been working. We feel guilty for taking even a short breather like we are now. Ah, so now you understand how she feels. Dang. Looks like you got a serious emergency on your hands. This is actually... Speaking of Julian Karst, Traveler, I've heard Sorry. that you can go in and out of there as you please. This is actually a really good story quest, especially for, you know, countries or, uh, yeah, no, countries like China and Japan and everything, I feel like, because the work environment there is insane. They work like clockwork and it's great, but sleep is also good and healthy habits. Yeah, people definitely die in some countries because of, mm. because of overwork, so this is going to be pretty solid for that. Remember to take care of yourself. Yes. Of course. We've been there lots of times. Ah, oh, that's good news. Could you go to Julian Karst and find Miss Ganyu for us? Preferably before we collapse under this workload. This <laughs> is like I'm the only one who can do it, indeed. Ah, uh. <laughs> oh. oh, we're saved. I remember Miss Ganyu said that she'd be visiting Cloud Retainer's abode. You might as well start looking for her there. Yo, bro, I like the second choice was like, I'll do it. There's lives, <laughs> lives at stake. <laughs> These guys are gonna die. It's about time she came back to work. Otherwise, oh. These three may actually die if she doesn't come back. Oh no, she'll actually have to hire more than three other people. No, Why does she only Perhaps we should have go three. to Lady Ningguang first and bring Got up you. our overtime pay again. Wait, you haven't? Oh, so they were just picking up the slack for Ganyu being AFK for a bit, but they but weren't, you weren't getting paid extra for it. Um, that's pretty normal in certain cultures of just taking over your like coworkers' workload. Yeah, that that's normal. I know, but if your coworker is the sole heart and pillar of how everything is working, <laughs> maybe you probably should, should let the your the, boss know and maybe get paid a little more for. Uh, the overtime. Doesn't sound like a bad idea, honestly. <laughs> Dang. Huh. I wonder how that does work in um, Chinese cultures mm. and everything. How does, like, overwork work? Uh, so or, um, you left to overtime work? Cloud retainer. Doesn't she live in Mel Outso? Yep. We should hurry up. Hyman hopes we can find her there. Nice. I used to mind the heat set up. Yo, dude, that was so sick. The teleport made him like jump. Mm -hmm. he, it's like it's a dash. He dashes told. So you can kind of use that to scale on things as well. Yes, you can. Dang. Because they uh they did a cool detail of not making it. Oh, I forgot it's a long cooldown. They made they did the cool detail of making him <laughs> do like an uppercut towards that location instead of just teleporting. Does that is that how Kaching works as well, or is she a bit? She older? just teleports. She just teleports. Okay. Which makes her a little faster because he's technically stuck in his animation for a few seconds. But that animation is giving you a bit of height as well. It does. So... So, give and take. Give and take. Cool, cool, cool. Huh? The person standing over there. That's Ganyu. We finally found her. Yo, look how beautiful hey, this is. you want to quit your job? Wait. What is this? I've never seen this. Where? where uh, can you go to the map? It's an unloaded area. It's, uh... Dude, is that, uh, the Fontaine area? Potentially? Like, that direction? Uh, I don't know. There's, a uh, Dragon Spine That's there. Dragon Spine. So to the left, maybe Fontaine soon? I think they're keeping it shrouded in clouds for a reason. Oh, dang. So, we don't have quite the idea what it looks like. One day, guys. One day! I mean, soon we looked like grassy plains until they added it in. Oh, cool. Anyway, Ganyu, Hello, Ganyu. Your job. <laughs> I'm here Ganyu, to persuade you. Here you are. You two. I did not expect to meet you here. Is it official or private affairs that bring you here? <laughs> um, Favor. Oh, I shouldn't. I have left the human world. Please contact the Yua High Pavilion regarding matters concerning the commercial port. Wait, you, you, what? You, good for you. Wait, what do you mean you left the human world? You seem different. Huh? You don't want to be the chasing secretary anymore? But they're all waiting for you to come back. For their own selfish reasons, but yes. That's why you're here? 
You want me to come back? I'm afraid you came here in vain. Good for you. Wait, what's the story? I want to know the story before I say anything. What, what, what's going on? What? Did something happen? The clouds fold and unfold. The tide ebbs and flows. It was meant to be. What? Mm -hmm. What? When the Adepti entrusted humans with overseeing Leoa, I knew it was only a matter of time until I had to leave. No, but they want to keep the ones that they can use. <laughs> You're not wrong. My Adepti blood makes me unwelcome in Leoa Harbor. Oh, mm -hmm. that's what's going on. Okay. Because I was thinking for a second, if she just wants to quit because she's being overworked, power to her and everything. Power to you. But she feels unwelcome because they're, they, she thinks like Adepti aren't allowed in. Okay, got it. But she's not entirely on wrong. She's 50-50, man. She's Adepti and human, so somewhere in between. I forgot she actually was 50-50. Mm. Huh. Uh, I delivered the letter and came back to Leowa Harbor, only to discover that I had been replaced by Baiwen, Bai Shao, and Bai Shu. Mm -hmm. It was a misunderstanding? Perhaps that mission of mine was just a pretext to remove me. No! Oh. Since the Chi Sing gave me a chance to leave with dignity... I decided to be tactful as well. I, I think there was a misunderstanding, but you really should leave that I place. appreciate your kindness, but there's no need for your words of comfort. After a thousand years away, I came back to Juyun Karst. Looking at the clouds floating among the mountains brings me peace of mind. I feel better now. Uh, but... Who disturbs the peace of these mountains? Oh, jeez! Hi, Cloud Retainer. Hey, Aunt Birdie. Cloud Retainer? We're terribly sorry. We just... Oh, wait. This is back in time. We're being more respectful. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Remember, Cloud Retainer doesn't like us at the moment. That's mm. weird. One merely jests. Oh, never One mind. One felt your presence the moment you set foot upon this land. Cool. Hi. Wow. You adept, I really are impressive. Oh, do you think this is a uh, new dialogue? Because we went farther in the story? Maybe mm -hmm. if we did this back in the day, she would have actually been like, Why are you here? I remember. I wonder. Come here to chat about the old times with Ganyu. It looks like you get along quite well. This is technically our second time meeting. Technically. Technically. Get along? Chat about old times? Either what old times? <laughs> ah, a matter leaves you at an impasse then. Not to worry. One is exceptional at seeking avenues for conversation. One has been one's own companion in idle talk for many a year. Wait, mm. come again? She talks to herself a lot. Okay, I thought that's what she said. Ah, yes. Since you are Ganyu's friends, tales from her youth shall one apprise you of, perhaps? Oh, cloud retainer. <sighs> Nothing to be ashamed of. You were so cute as a child. One is most certain that your friends would like to hear of it. Oh, yes. Yes, please. That's a good topic. Oh, Paimon wants to hear it. <laughs> uh. hmm. Little Gon, you loved when the horns on the top of her head were caressed. <gasps> when one was still taking care of her, one was pestered most often to touch her horns. She was elsewise loath to sleep. That's so wholesome! Wow. Plump she was back then. Why, when she stumbled while we ascended the mountain, she would roll down to the bottom like a little ball. <laughs> she was a rolling goat! Dale, don't pretend to not have emotions. Let yourself smile and laugh at that. Dale's like trying to keep it in and everything. Look at him, he's trying to play it cool and everything. But no, that's, um, dude. Imagining Ganyu as plump, just rolling down a hill as a ball is great. Ah, uh, would, would she have been in her goat form? Probably like, just small. Just small? Small round. <laughs> small and round. Like basketball. <laughs> oh. The day Ganyu bumped into a pilgrim was the first time she saw a real human in the flesh. What is this sentient meatball? 
so fearful she was that she hid in a rock's cleft for two days and nights. Aww. One found her wailing of a monster she had seen. Oh, Dang, that poor guy. He wasn't that ugly. <laughs> so what I, what, Ganyu just runs away from him. What did I do? <laughs> he was hideous. <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> Cloud retainer? Hmm. Yo, Ganyu's uh, blushing. It. It's about time for my training. I will take my leave. Uh-huh. Oh, there she goes. I think you've upset her. Ah, oh, one's intention was merely to relieve the awkward tension. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> and you did the exact opposite. Impressive. I mean, <coughs> you know. Maybe that's so? Huh. But returning to Ganyu, most gladdened one is of your arrival. Well, that's nice. One cannot help but feel that remaining in Jueyun Karst shall not be good for her. Probably. One will tell you more about her, if you should permit it. Hmm. Most benevolent oh. among all adepti Yo. are the Chilin. Oh. They drink only spring water and eat only whole grain. Oh. But perhaps the mountainous dwellings of adepti in Jueyun Karst might be too lonely for her human side. Under moonlight did one see her last. She stood by the precipice's edge, and upon the mist-veiled mountains she gazed. Her thin figure was immersed in the vast sea of clouds. Dude! One noticed her loneliness, and sought to convince her to go back to the human world. But, just then, she said thus. Liyue Harbor feels even lonelier than Juyun Karst. When I look at the sea of clouds in Juyun Karst, I merely feel the loneliness of a solitary cloud gazer. Oh. When I step into the sea of people in Liyue, I feel the loneliness of an inhuman that doesn't belong in the human world. Oh, come on, girl, don't do that to yourself. I did, by Ouch. chance, hear this much of Ganyu's thoughts. Alone. She will find her predicament hard to conquer. One hopes that you will accompany her. Oh, Retainer's right. We can't leave Ganyu depressed like that. Besides, Liyue hasn't given up on her. She's got it all wrong. Yeah, Liyue will literally collapse in like five days. Anyways, what's that training Ganyu was talking about? She has sought to reclaim her adeptus side since returning to Zhuoyun Karst. At her behest, one has organized training for her to achieve that end. She should be in the southern part of Mount Outsong right now, preparing for the trial. Yo, whoa, whoa, pause, whoa, that, ch you just changed voice actors, what just happened? Or did you, did they lose the filter? Hmm? Did you hear that? They lost the filter. So that's what she sounds like. Huh, is that so? Let's go take a look then. Yo, she sounds pretty cool without that filter, I'm gonna be honest. This trial will test her spirit. Even so, one hopes that it shall trouble her little. Do you, do you think do you think if we ever get Cloud Retainer in like a human form, that's what she'll sound like? Mm. She's Dang. always just kind of been bird. She's she's always been bird. Hola. Oh, here you are, Ganyu. Why did you come here? I to see you. I'd like to try this adeptus training. Uh, damn, we're gonna die. Is that so? Oh boy. You really are interested in the ways of adepti. Sure am. This trial yeah. was prepared by Cloud Retainer. Its goal is to help me feel like an adeptus again. Bro, you think we can really take on Cloud Retainer's training? Yes. I. Mm, the okay. training is much to her signature style. I hope it won't make it seem like she is too unaware of the abilities of others. Is it difficult? No, I'm aware of your strength, Traveler. The power hidden within you is not inferior to mine. If you're ready, we shall begin the training. Oh boy. Are we gonna have a workout, like, montage? Bah, bah. Oh, bah, oh, never mind. Bah. Oh, wait, it's just shooting. Uh, can I? Okay, there we go. Okay. Ow. 
Boink. Fantastic. I feel like it's cheating since we're playing as Ganyu right now. I, I don't think Traveler's doing this. Hmm? Well, I mean, it's her training. I thought we were taking part, though. We are. Just pretend that we are. Besides, this is a cryo stuff. We can't use that. We, Ooh, we will wait. one day. <laughs> oh, well. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, that has nothing to do with what's happening. Oh, okay. Goodbye, Seely. Goodbye. He's just going to be up there at the top of that mountain for yep. a while. Sure is. Okay, easy. Oh, no. Oh, my. Wait, separate targets. What am I going to do? I actually I actually don't know because you what jumped down here. What could I do? Oh, there's an air current. There is an air current. I didn't see this. Okay. Shink. Moving target. Bah. Okay. Sorry. Bah. Uh, bah. Nailed it. Okay. I put too much. Okay. There you go. Forward and. Okay. Wait. Okay. It's one so of these. One of these times. So wonky to aim. <laughs> Whatever. It's there we go. Out. Wow. Perfect. A really awesome oh. shooter. If you could see through the eyes of an adeptus, you wouldn't be so surprised. Wait, do you have like super adeptus on? She's got like goat vision. Well, I'm not sure if that'd, that'd be that good actually. In greatest of all time vision? You you okay. don't think that would be that great? That's a little faster. No. Pew. Okay. Does that mean every other archer has the aim of a Ganyu? Maybe. Wow. They've got goat aim. Let's go. Sounds pretty hype if you ask me. Okay. Let's take care of this little guy. Bam. Oh, oh well, oh, that works. Well, I mean, yeah, okay. Ah, easy. How on earth am I gonna... Show. Whoa. Nope. We've completed the task. What do you think? Perhaps I'd make a good adeptus. <laughs> sure. I agree. What? You possess many qualities similar to those of adepti. Huh? Despite having none of their blood. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Ganyu, what were you planning to do once your training was over? The training's not over yet. The part prepared by Cloud Retainer is only the first trial. We can travel the world, see the sights. Huh? So there are more trials prepared by other Adepti? Is it Mountain Shaper? No. The only Adeptus who can unlock my true potential is... Who is it? Conqueror of Demons. Oh, Shell! Ah. Huh. So it's Shell! That cold-hearted loner? <laughs> How come he's prepared a trial for you? Yo, Paimon! Chill the flip out. Whoa. <sighs> wow. It's oh, funny. What a surprise. I found him unapproachable at first, too. But I believe that being able to face him is an important part of my homecoming. Mm. He's already waiting for me. Come along if you're interested. His heart is like butter. Of course we are. Let's go. Dude. We get to hang out with Xiao as well. This is great. Time to deal with the angsty team. Yo, Let's I don't go. I don't remember there being so many clouds. Hmm? There is when you're this high. Woof. It's very pretty. So what's this tree? Probably the uh special looking tree. Yes. Oh, it's. you're right! Incoming! Don't hit a branch! <laughs> Daniel, this is too high! No, nope, it's fine. Oh my gosh, Daniel, please. Hola, hola. Excuse me. Hello there. You're half an hour late. I see you still haven't abandoned the wrongful ways of humankind. Uh, eh, yo. That was probably our bad. I'm sorry. I had a meeting with Cloud Retainer. I... 
I don't need your explanations and don't require any mutual understanding between us. I'm just helping you with your training. That's oh, all. I never, I'm sorry, are you busy with anything else at the moment? I never realized how different he sounded back then. Mm -hmm. Dang. Wow, Xiao has seen a lot of character growth. He has. Xiao is such a strict teacher. <laughs> You're neither an adeptus nor a human, always treading the line between the two worlds. It must create a lot of confusion. I mean, for who? Gan Yu. Instead of explaining yourself to me, you should face your true self. I... I have nothing to hide. All? I guess he's a teacher. You know, the body yeah. and the mind are one. If something worries your mind, your body can help you find a solution. Why is that flower floating? Don't. The trial I've prepared for you will explore the true potential of your body. Mm hmm. Yes. I'm ready. Get on you, Zhao. Okay, what do you say? Focus on the trial. I'm not here for idle chatter. Oh, come on, man. Talk with us a little bit. It, it's fine. You can, you can hang. It's cool. You don't have to be a loner anymore. It's fine. That's for current day one. This one's still nothing but a little set of cat. The trial's begun. I'm on can feel it in the air. Yo! The ah, they made it rain. And gave water enemies. All right. Okay, this is just gonna be super easy. Actually, I should probably just shoot him. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I, I do not. Well, that would be guys. troublesome, except not only are they standing in water, they're also in clumped rain. up. Be fine. Oh, the other one was frozen underground. That's kind of cool. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, that's not constant cryo. All right, keep that in mind. That's annoying. Here we go, easy. One well-placed arrow will kill them all. Nice. Nice. Okay, animo. Choink. Hi, you nerds. What you gonna do? I assume the water archon will make it rain somehow. Yo, I hope, man. I truly hope. I want the flip. Oh, this is gonna be super easy. Hey, yo, rude! Nice, you hit him as he came down. <laughs> Alright. Slime was dodging all your arrows. Uh oh. Whoa. What a beast. Watch out! Oh no. I thought there were more. You actually are gonna have to watch out. These this is gonna be really annoying. Blaze over. Destroy these little slimes! Bop, bop. Show them who is Alright. In charge here. Oh flip. Okay, if everything's coming just like just with more in heavier numbers, I actually would say definitely start nuking these dudes. Oh, all right. This is long overdue. Oh boy! Okay, that wasn't too bad. It would have been a lot easier if I just switched to me faster. Just, he, it was literally just constant raining. That would have made that so much easier. Shall we did it? We we did the thing. I've completed your trial. You don't have to report back to me. Seeking other people's validation won't benefit your training. But Could criticism you? will, so. But you're the one that gave it to her. Only you can evaluate the result of this trial. You'll progress faster that way. All yep. right. I get what you're trying to say, but at the same time, jerk move. Um... Understood. No! <laughs> That's... Yeah, I mean, evaluating yourself is good, too. Opinions. That's strong. 
He just told her to do something. She came back and said, hey, I did the thing. And he's like, why the flip are you? <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. He could be nicer while sharing them. He's truly admirable. What the flip are you talking about? From tomorrow on, I'll start raising the difficulty of your training. So you'll have to... <sighs> Hmm? Have to do what? Have to do what? Kill them faster? More enemies? Uh, another one of those pesky visitors. Hello. I'll leave him to you, Ganyu. It's also a part of your training. No, it's I, not. I, I feel just, like uh, yeah, yeah, you're making that up. How dare. Pesky visitor? So even here, there are those that Xiao can't deal with? His social anxiety got to him. Oh, oh heavens. Blessed be Rex Lapis. I finally come upon the Adepti. Hello? Sup, you can just go to, like, the mountain. Are all of you the Adepti of this mountain? Uh, no. Uh, great. My name's Sin Chung. I came to ask for your merciful blessings, O Adepti. I beg of you, please grant me luck, wealth, and a good career. I don't that's think that's... That's not how that works. That's not how that works, man. Bro, she's a goat. She's a that's magic, it. She's a magical goat. Who can shoot a bow. Not many goats can do that. But, wow. but I don't think she can do that. What is her adeptal power? Ice. But that's because of the vision. I think her element's just ice, though. I think she's literally... Isn't she just an ice goat? Or a cloud goat? Something? I know, but like all her cryo stuff is her vision. Yeah, I know. I have no idea. So what is her power? Goat. She's got goat horns. Goat, that's that's I, the uh, that's the depth of. I, I mean, she's got good eyesight. I don't know. I haven't done many of the Ganyu things. I love her character. I need to read her like bio and everything. I I have her at max friendship. So all I know is she choked a monster out that tried to eat her. Yes, that's I, about all I know. That that's what I yeah. No, that did happen. Huh? That's oh, all that's been so shared with pilgrim. me. Ah. Uh, okay. I am also one of the Adepti. You can say that I'm an Adeptus in training. Perfect. I didn't come in vain then. Although you sound a bit half-hearted. It uh, doesn't matter. Hey, yo, rude! Bro, it's not even how it works. What blessings can you grant me? Ah, uh, she can freeze you in place for all eternity. That sounds kind of nice, doesn't it? That is a thing she can do. Why? You want immortality? Live forever? That kind of shtick? Cryo freezing. Cryo freeze you. That would kill you, though. Yes, it would. Unless you just freeze the body and keep the internals warm. You can keep the mind fun. I don't right? think that's a. Re I don't think. I don't think you can really do that. Oh, you can, but maybe with magic eyes. Magic eyes. Okay, yeah. You can keep them alive. Maybe. Wow. Straight to the point, huh? Dear pilgrim, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Adepti don't help every pilgrim for free. Wait, Wait, you, you can, can actually, you can do that? You can, you can for grant wishes? Free? Do you mean that you charge people for the blessings of the Adepti? I don't know, like ten bucks, maybe. Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. What I'm trying to say is that everything should be earned through hard work and earnest living. Okay. Ah, uh, so you're not. You sound like a fortune cookie. It would be unfair to other people if you got everything you wanted for no reason. Yeah, I can agree with this. Yep. Hold on, hold on. I've heard this all before. You're just like my old man, always nagging me. Oh my gosh, you're one of those people. Your father must have experienced it firsthand. The lives of the common folk are riddled with hardships, but are also full of joy. Yep. A person of your age should focus on work and family, instead of chasing after fairy tales. Oh! Flip. You Wait, know? but you're not a fairy tale. Maybe the adeptal power of granting wishes is the fairy tale part of that? I guess. Maybe. Are you a real adeptus? Why do you speak and behave like us city folk? What? What? Wait, is that a problem? You sure you're not one of those swindlers who poses an adeptus to cheat people out of their money? No, that's the guy from the Xiao Quest. But they do exist. He just can't take criticism. I kind of agree with both of those things that or show some respect i, I like both the uh, show up. yeah you Ugh, how dare you reprove me <laughs> i bet you came here looking for the adepti yourself uh, well yes but no what mm, he might sort of 
sort of have a point. We did come here looking for Ganyu after But Gan We were looking to get a wish granted, Paimon. Come on. But we were on. looking for an adoptus. We were. But to bring her back. But we still were looking for her. What? What is the word game suddenly? That's bogusness. But we're not here to use her. Well, we're not, but we came here <laughs> looking for Enough. her. Enough. Doesn't matter if you're a real adeptus or not. You're useless. I'm leaving. Yo, bro. Shut it. Get alive. Have fun. <laughs> Nobody's stopping you. Uh... Kanyu, don't let that guy ruin your mood. Why do you have a bell? She's a goat. It's character design. <laughs> I, uh, I was speaking... It's uh, not his mind. behavior. The things he said, he was right. Wait, what was he right about? What did he want you to talk like? Thou is I, I grant you no wish, for you have not worked hard enough for it. Oh my gosh, that would, no, don't is do that. Is that better? Don't do that. I thought that coming no, back you. to Julian Karst and devoting myself to training would make me feel like an adeptus again. But being questioned by him made me realize that I... <sighs> what the flip? I hate that bottom choice. You have to pick the top one. Go back to Leeway Harbor with us. But you have to say that because you're better off sticking to your human side is like the worst thing to ever tell someone in Bro, this Bro, that kind guy of was just some narc. Why do you... Yeah, that, that guy was just some rando who doesn't even matter. Come on. But I... But I'm unwelcome in Leeway Harbor. As an adeptus, I... The flip is that bottom option. It sounds like a dating sim. Can you believe a human like me? Just this once? Yeah, don't don't say that. We told you. It was a misunderstanding. That's the it's best one. true. Just believe us. Uh, all right. I'll go with you to Leoa Harbor. That said, I still trust my initial judgment. No, they're dying for you to get back. Actually, they. I if think I'm they will die. Right, I'll return to Juyun Karst once again. Oh, oh no, they're going to love you. Step in the right direction. I Let's should really go. should look for a different line of work. I mean, if she or likes maybe what she get does. some, like, assistance. You just don't like Ningguang. No, I don't. I'm just saying it's an unfair work environment. Okay, let's go back. And she really has, like, four secretaries that do all the work, and one does most of it. I wonder what the other three do actually do. Apparently not as much. Oh, she's gonna walk through leeway and everyone's gonna be like, oh my gosh, you're back! <laughs> Please help, the city's on fire. It's gonna be great. Oh. Oh, thank goodness the city doesn't really high on the depth die to work. We're finally back! Uh, I'm still... Come on, you're gonna be fine. Turn back now, do you? I suppose you have a point. It would be quite impolite of me to leave the two of you now. Yes, it would. Or if it's just an excuse. That's right. Where do you want to go first, then? I've spent too much time in the mountains. The first thing that comes to my mind is the sea. Well, we are there right now, so... There it is. Let's go for a walk in the port. Let's do it. Happy to come with. Wait, haven't you just been gone for like a week? I mean, a week is a long time. I, I guess. If you were away from home for like a week, I'd want to go back to like all my favorite spots. <sighs> the sound of the waves in this familiar port. Ah. The smell of the sea breeze makes me nostalgic. Hmm. You, you, you haven't been here for like hundreds of years. Can you? You didn't leave Leo for that long. Why do you look so moved? Well, I used to be so busy. I haven't taken a stroll around here in a long time. Huh. That's true. Gan, you seem to be working all the time. You should at least take a few days off, honestly. Mm, yeah. Well, when I think about my time here, I've spent most of it behind a desk filing documents. Yeah. Yeah, you need to breathe sometime, girl. It put me in a certain mood. Similar to the one I felt during my training in Juyun Karst, in fact. Is that... It is! It's Lady Ganyu. Oh, it's Uncle Tian! Or, uh, mm -hmm. Tiwan? I can't remember how to say his name. Dang it. 
Uh, the guy we've seen a few times. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought I'd meet you here. You were always so terribly busy. Mm. Lady Ganyu? Why are you calling her that? Little Miss Ganyu. I like that. I like... Uh, please don't also start calling me that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. That was awkward. <laughs> Allow me to introduce Uncle Tian. He is... Tian. That's okay. all right. Just tell them the truth. They have done so much for Leo, after all, and... I am the one who has yet to introduce myself. Were you some bigwig? Uncle Tian is a member of the Leo Chising, the Tianshu. You Dang! Are. Okay. What? This grandpa is a member of the Chising? The same rank as Ningguang? Hush yeah. now. I must ask for your discretion concerning my identity. Ah, uh, you've uh, you you like retired? Okay. I thought you were just some wholesome grandpa. Huh? Fishing in the port and strolling about are the greatest pleasures of my life. I have no wish to be followed around by those armed guards. I feel you, See, man. See, I like you. You're great. In most people's eyes, I'm just a forgetful and wordy old man. I like you. <laughs> hmm. Uncle Tian is too modest. He's been around for a long time. There's no one who can replace a person of such noble character. I can't remember if I've ever messed with him. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, no, no, bottom one, bottom one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what an honor to receive such high praise from Lady Ganyu herself. I guess I must have done something right over the last, oh, however many decades. <laughs> oh, crap, I beat him in cards. Daniel, what the flip, man? Uncle Tian, please. A person of your standing should really stop calling me Lady Ganyu. Yeah, <sighs> my apologies. It's not intentional, just a habit from my younger days. <laughs> Thank you for looking after me when I first ascended to my position in the Chi Sing. Ah, so you've been an attendant for a long time. Oh yeah, Adeptus lived for a long time, so Ganyu- Wait. I work old gun you actually is. Wouldn't that make her more qualified to be the boss? Sort of, but Ganyu probably just does what she does well. She probably just stays in her position. What a shame. Oh, so you've been friends for many decades now, huh? Oh, oh. I was just fulfilling my duties as the Chi Sing secretary. It's nothing worthy of your gratitude. Have you ever gotten like a pay raise? I was just thinking the same thing. Have you have you ever gotten like a raise? Has, is Ning Wong paying you good? I hope. Right? Talking about secretaries, oh, I don't know if I should bring it up. Uh, Ganyu, I believe you know my daughter, Huixin. She seems to be a bit troubled recently. Yo, I have no idea how to yes, say that name. She works Wait, at Yua High Pavilion and she's my junior. How can I help her? <laughs> I don't know myself, really. Uh, she's all grown up now and doesn't like to ask for my help. Aww. May I trouble you to meet her at Yua High Pavilion? She just needs a bit of guidance. With pleasure. Solving the Chi Sing's problems has always been in my job description. She's back in character, just like that, huh? <laughs> I'm actually afraid Gan Yu didn't even notice, honestly. Yeah. Let's move then to your high pavilion. Well, eh, don't bye -bye. think too much about it. My daughter really needs Gan Yu's help, and there's nothing more to it. <laughs> <laughs> I like your laugh. <laughs> Well, I like you. You're sick, man. Whee. I gotta try to drop attack him. Yeah. You're in this? Too bad. Hello. Hello. Oh, I love your haircut. Huh. Miss Ganyu. It's been too long. I don't know why, but seeing you brings me a sense of peace in these chaotic times. Well, that's nice. 
Oh. Indeed, it has been a while, Huixin. I'm flattered, but aren't you exaggerating a little? I heard that you've encountered some problems and came to see if I could be of some help. <sighs> My father asked you to come, didn't he? Possibly, yeah. Using his status as a member of the Chi Sing to trouble you. Nah, just asking for a friend to help. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm always happy to help a junior colleague from UAHI Pavilion. Gang is not only a competent secretary, but also a great mentor. She has been doing it for hundreds of years. Maybe. I don't know how old she is. So, what can you tell me about the problem? Ugh, where should I start? I discovered something strange while organizing tax records. Ah, tax write-offs. Oh, someone's there being are sus! Obvious irregularities in the tax declarations of two stores, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique. However, whether I question the shopkeepers or check their accounts, I, I can't seem to make any progress with my investigation. Mm. Without any evidence, my hands are tied. I see. It's not uncommon for merchants to be blinded by greed. Well, is there any solution you can advise? Naturally. I've dealt with similar issues hundreds of times. Give me a moment to consider the best approach in this scenario. What would you do as a secretary if you found out A someone... thousand years of work experience? Whoa, wait, yo. You've been God. doing this for a thousand years. Why are you not the boss? H how is Ganyu not running this place, actually? What the flip? You've huh? been doing this good for thousands of years? All right. Find Let's a approach desk? it this way, then. Your enemy knows you best. Okay. What does uh, that mean? Sometimes. Huh? If I remember correctly, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique are old business rivals, competing for market share due to their similar wares. Hmm. In that case... In that case... Ah! I know what you mean, Miss Ganyu. Ah, oh, yes, of course. I still don't get it. You want them to expose each other. Exactly. What? If they know each other has dirt on the other, they're going to try to expose the other, put each other out of business. So in doing so, they're going to destroy each other. Okay. Let's start with Wanyo Boutique. The owner's name is... Bolai, isn't it? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. Follow me, please. Yeah, okay. I well, time to put some people out of his nails. Yeah, I don't know these people, but I, I've heard of the <laughs> stores, so... Oh, boy. Sucks to be them. Dang. Is it is it necessary to ruin them? Because technically, it just sounds like someone's skimming out of the pot, you know? Like someone's taking some money they shouldn't. Oh, no, it's that guy. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Uh, sorry, dude. You helped us in the past. Oh, yeah. It's... Oh, boy. Hey, dude. Sorry. Aha, we meet again, traveler. And you must be from the Yuhai Pavilion? Yep. <laughs> I suppose you're about to place a big order. I'd be honored to offer you my wares. That won't be necessary, Mr. Bolai. Wanyo Boutique's credit is not sufficient to accept orders directly from Yuhai Pavilion. Uh huh. Should we need to place such an order, we would certainly go to Second Life instead. Oh, so, okay, we're stirring the pot. I get it. Rude. Yeah, that's kind of mean. Second Life? Hi, how are you doing? Just wanted to pop in and say I prefer that other store to yours. Anyway, uh, have a terrible day. Ugh, that rascal Dongsheng. He's stealing all of my customers. I don't think that's the... You just got insulted to your face, and you're like, ah, darn, that other guy. I mean, he, just, he must just be too well, good. Second Life's credit has always been excellent, and based on their tax records, their business is thriving. The flip is this conversation? We're stirring the pot! <laughs> oh, hmm. Tax records? <laughs> thriving? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ah, yes. Me human. Normal conversation. Ah, ah. Huh. What the flip? Is there anything you'd like to share with us, Mr. Bolai? 
Ah, yes, here's all my incriminating evidence on them. Oh boy, Don't here we go. Don't let that rascal fool you. I know his dirty tricks best. Uh-huh. If you don't believe me, show me his tax records. I'm sure I'll find something fishy in there. Here we go. You know Second Life's business so well? Of course. Ugh, their every transaction makes my blood boil. I have no idea how you got that information, but, you know, whatever. I'd rather lose money myself than see that rascal make some. That's some petty. That's real petty. Yeah. Well then, please look over this tax record. We'll review Second Life's credit based on your observations. Oh, of course. I'll read very, very carefully. What the freak? I, why would we ever trust you to give us line accurate by info? line and word by word. He wants to see them fall? Of course he's going to give it accurately. No, I know, but what if what if he makes something up? Well, then he would be in trouble. I guess. Ah, here I found it. That exquisite wooden furniture set he bought from Fanmu Carpenters at the beginning of the year. Ugh, he even flaunted it in front of me. Oh Look boy. at the tax record. Not a word about that furniture. And he kept all the profit for himself. Huh. I see. He must have gotten rid of all the documents related to this transaction. No wonder there was no trace of it. Is that easy? I guess. Kind of me kind of sucks. <laughs> If all you have to do is destroy the record of it and boom, it never existed. Never existed. Never happened. That sandwich? Psh, what sandwich? What sandwich? There is no sandwich. Sandwich is fake. Uh, it's all part of your hmm, dream. I told you so. Just as I expected. Ugh, I can't wait to watch him squirm. But, Ms. Ganyu, despite all this, can't he just flat out deny ever making this transaction? Probably. Wait, you can do that? He might have destroyed all the evidence, but I believe the supplier, Fanmu Carpenters, might still have some proof of it. Yeah, I was about to say, I mean, if uh -huh. he got- You're right. Master Lu from Fanmu Carpenters must still have the invoice. He wouldn't be swayed by the likes of Dongsheng. Yeah, cause... Wait, so you're saying if a bunch of people just work together, they could just avoid paying taxes on their transactions? Yeah, I mean, that's a real crime in real life. It's 100%. Yeah, because if you get rid of all the legal documentation, technically it never existed. And you can't prove anything. But, in this case, where one person is doing the illegal thing, but not the other, then there is proof. And you can get seriously in trouble for it. But yes, you're right. If a lot of people work together, technically you could figuratively dodge some things. And that does happen in real life, technically. That's a bit easy. I hope so. Probably, actually. Let's go to Fanmu Carpenters. It should be near Chinksa Village. It, it's easier than it should be, if we're being honest. Yeah. Thank you for shining a light on this case, Mr. Balai. Oh, please, please, that's nothing. I just hope you won't be lenient with him once you find the evidence. That's the best way to show your gratitude. <laughs> You're scary. Uh, I'm afraid I can't. It's all right, oh, Lishin. can't go to Chasing you Village. You can stay in Liyua Harbor and finish your work. Leave the rest to us. Ah, oh, that's so considerate of you. Still, I'm sorry to trouble you like that. See, that's your issue. What, not being able to say no? Yeah, tough taking everything on yourself. So much to this point, if you disappear for like a week, everything falls apart. Yeah, so Leeway needs to get better hands on. Like hire more people, maybe. I know you have a like the SSS tier you, you secretary. May want to go to the other teleport. Oh, I thought that one was higher. Yeah, I think that one will get you closer to it. I think. Yeah, you're good. Oh. S you're still gonna have to walk a little bit. I love that water wheel right there. It's such a cool little area. Once if she gets sick or something. If Ganyu gets sick? I don't know. Does she get sick? I don't know. Hello there! Ah, welcome, welcome. How can an old carpenter like me help you? Quite easily, in fact. <laughs> I'm usually happy to take new apprentices, but uh, I'm afraid I can't take too many at once. 
Uh, but I'm always around if you're keen for a chat. <laughs> Why not if we were interested in French? No Kingsa way. really is full of lonely old people. Oh. It really is the village of little old people. Oh. Hey, I heard that, flying one. Yeah, how dare? Uh, Thymon, sorry. Master Lu, we've just come to see you and ask you some questions. <laughs> ah, don't worry, I know. You're from the Uai Pavilion, right? Why would the Chising care about an old man like me? Well, whatever. You said that you want to ask me something. Ask away, then. <laughs> You're very direct, Master Liu. I will be plain. We're looking for proof that Dongsheng from Second Life has been evading taxation. Dongsheng bought some furniture from you at the beginning of the year. Do you still have the invoice or any other record of that transaction? Oh, it's about Second Life. It was a big order. Hmm. How could I forget? He did a big order of it? Sure enough, Mr. Balai was right. Could we perhaps borrow that invoice? We won't have any evidence to bring against Dongsheng otherwise. Well, of course you can. But I'm not so sprightly anymore. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? He wants us to get it. Uh, I only do my woodwork and display finished wares here at Fonmu Carpenters. As for old documents and such, I keep them all in a warehouse west of here. Yeah, okay. But some troublemakers have recently moved there, invading my warehouse. I tried to drive them away, but they just wouldn't leave. Don't worry. Since you need that invoice anyway, it may be best to get it from the warehouse yourself. And while you're at it, you can teach those louts a lesson. Yikes, you sounded scary there for a second, so man. that's what happened. I see. I'll leave you to it then. I need to get back to work. Yeah, the I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Yeah, all right. I mean, it also gives us a chance to test gun you out. Take back the warehouse, find the invoice. Time for us to show our stuff in a fight. Let's go! Wait, I think I saw one of those troublemakers. Ah, uh, over there. Oh, Paimon sees them too. <gasps> it's one of the Fatui. <gasps> he just ate a raw chicken. What the flip is wrong with him? What is, what is he trying to do? He must be plotting something against Liyue Harbor. Let's destroy him. He's eating chicken. Actually, I think he snuck away to eat raw chicken. He's eating chicken in a no-eating chicken zone. We must destroy him. They're the scoundrels who invaded Master Lu's warehouse. Shouldn't we observe him for a while first? Ever since Osiel attacked the harbor, the Fatui's reputation in Liyue has reached rock bottom. So it's okay to attack him on sight? Possibly. Wait. We won't cause a serious diplomatic crisis by getting into some small scuffle with the Fatui within our borders. You need not worry. I don't think that's the problem here, but you know what? Whatever. The it's guy could have just been like embarrassed about eating raw chicken around his friends. Don't eat raw Besides, chicken. Don't do that. I can already feel their malicious intentions. He's Consider eating it... that chicken with malicious intent. How terrible. My intuition as the secretary of the Chising. You got it. I trust you. Waiting for. Let's go teach him a lesson. Indeed. Let's go stick him with a sword. This poor guy. I'm sorry. He's just he's still down there eating raw chicken. Man, you sir, a lot of that. Sir, you are under arrest. This is a no eating raw chicken. Put that zone. chicken down right now. Put the freaking chicken down. Get down. Did you not know that's illegal? And kind of weird. It's kind of weird and dangerous. Actually, you can kill yourself by doing that. Don't do that. Oh, actually, let's just... You, you're gonna need to nuke him or he's gonna buff. Flip. <laughs> Incoming bo booty bounce! What the? You were flying in the air. How the freak did that happen? You're gonna, you're gonna wanna buff up with your other electricity. Yeah, we're off. Shwink. And then this. And alt. Uh, game, can I? Thank you. Well, that would have been nice to do a second earlier, but oh well. Oh, yeah, watch oh, out. Okay, that sucks. Everyone hold hands. You're gonna wanna reapply, yeah. Mm. Now you 
Shoink! Uh oh. Ah, you are too far. God damn. Can I? Oh, it's a rock. You have a wall. Ow. So I don't like fighting it. Leeway. Okay, just whatever you do, don't get crushed underneath his booty. You will die. It's really dangerous. Oh, flip! Just die. Oh, come on! I does so much damage. Oh, yeah. Drowning! Ah. Ah, it's always the frozen ones. Everyone hold hands. Illusion shattered. Stand with me. Frozen food. Oh my goodness, that's so annoying to deal with. Why are there flamethrower-based enemies? Oh boy! I mean, don't you mean ice thrower based enemies? You know exactly what I mean. I mean, I don't know. What was that about wordplay? Wordplay? And I'm bringing it back! Oh, you scoundrels! Thanks. I think you've had enough. About time you tell us your plan. No? Plan? What plan? I was just eating chicken, man! Oh, sorry about we that. We just taught you a lesson, but clearly you weren't paying attention. If you don't spill whatever you're scheming against Liyue, we'll be forced to use harsher methods. Uh oh. How many times has this happened? I'm sorry. Tell us everything! I'm telling the truth. There's no scheme. God, he's just out here eating his chicken. If you're telling the truth, then why would you, a member of the Fatui, suddenly appear on the outskirts of Chingsa Village? Fine. If you really want to know, then, well, I was about to. About to what? Pick berries over there. <laughs> Ooh, God, sorry. I picked them. How uh, dare you? I must admit, I didn't expect you to come up with such a silly excuse. I, no, I think he's telling the truth. It's Ganyu. not an excuse. I rarely have a free morning, and I heard that there were fresh berries in this area. Yeah, sorry about that. Think about it. I'm here alone, and Chinksa Village is nothing more than a retirement spot for old people. What could I be scheming anyway? He's got a point. Judging by how he's looking at us, it does seem like he feels like he's the victim here. He is! So you have nothing to do with the occupation of Fonmu Carpenter's warehouse? You didn't even know if it was for oh, Fonmu okay. Carpenter's warehouse? Where's that? I swear, I only came here to pick berries. That's all. So it wasn't the Fatui who took over Master Lu's warehouse after all. So we blamed him for nothing. I also feel that he's telling the truth. I mean, it was a good fight nonetheless. So much for the in so much for that intuition. Uh, um, whoopsie. Ah, <laughs> oops. Please don't charge us. Sorry, we almost uh, tried to kill you there and uh, threatened to torture you more. Please don't get Yanfei. I misjudged the situation and offended you. My apologies. I think we did more than offended. I think we just viciously beat this man up for no reason. Our. I mean, he's uh, alive. Our exchange only represents my personal views. <laughs> if you wish it so, you can file a complaint to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Good on you, girl. As he should. Exchange? Exchange? <laughs> I mean, yeah. This woman, she's clearly aware that the Ministry of Civil Affairs wouldn't side with us for Tui. I don't think that's the problem. Though they probably wouldn't. True. Since she literally just talked that it, it would be totally fine for us to beat up one of theirs. Okay, that's for true. no reason. It is true. Without any basis. And it'd be legally fine. Poor man. Yes, precisely. As an alternative, you may try to solve this problem with force once again. Rude. Paimon's in! He's innocent! What the flip, Paimon? I mean... Darn you. How can you wear that solemn face while bullying me like this? Exactly! What the flip? What's your choice, then? What, go into a legal dispute where nothing will happen or try beating up people he can already who attacked him for no reason? 
I guess that's a choice. Sweet. I guess he'll just walk away with a few bruises and his berries picked. No, get you back have to my berries. berries. You do it, man. You do it. Enjoy the berries. Sorry, Can we about get that. what they What the flip traveler? They're not all evil. Good choice. Jeez. What a bittersweet ending. What? Guys! What the flip? That guy was innocent. I think at this point in the story, you're supposed to think of all for two of you are bad. No, they're not. I mean, we know that, but I think in the story, you're supposed to be like, oh man, they're totally evil. I mean, you say that, and yet we kill every single Fatui we see in the wild. Yeah, that's because they attack us first. They attack us on sight. That guy was just picking berries, minding his own business. I made a laughing stock out of myself. I might have spent too much time away from work. My intuition is not as accurate as it used to be. It's okay. Spend all your time next to a desk. It's okay. You gotta warm up. No worries. It's always nice to teach the Fatui a lesson. He was just picking berries. He's not even evil. We actually don't know that. He could be evil. For all we know, we just saved the country. Or From the dreaded berry picker. Or we just bullied a man picking berries. So it's one or the other. Yeah, the man just... Could script just the man works in his country's military. <laughs> Let's keep moving towards Master Lu's warehouse. Our goal is to get the invoice after all. <laughs> uh, maybe let's not jump to conclusions and beat up a random stranger. I'd recommend not doing that. It's a good idea. <laughs> oh, it's that guy. He's from that country I don't like. Yeah. Maybe don't, maybe don't do that. Maybe don't punch people based on like where they're from. That's a bad idea. Maybe don't do that. <laughs> That'd be preferred. <laughs> Words to live by. That's a that's a life lesson right me. there. It should be common sense. Oh my like. goodness! My Alhatham died for. That guy just wanted to pick berries. Alhatham died to protect berries, man. Which I didn't even have to waste. In the line of duty. <laughs> Thought should be a bunch of treasure hoarders. It's probably gonna be treasure hoarders. Hello, small child. If it's Goodbye, a bunch of Fatui, child. I will laugh. Oh, it's li oh, <laughs> it's Hilly Churls. Hilly I mean, makes sense. Does that look like a bunch of rap scallions to you, old man, or is your eyesight just that poor? I, I mean, Hilly Churls <laughs> are like sentient creatures, admittedly. So they like, are, but you could have said out. Hilly Churls. Let's yep. them what we got. That at least would have solved the misunderstanding of us beating up a completely unrelated party. Whoa! That explosion did a crap ton of damage. There is no escape. Wait, just watch oh, out. Boy. Watch out! Oh, you're dead. Oh. Yo, that damage is nice. Okay. Reapply stuff. Stuck on a rock. You're gonna jump. Beautiful! I cannot wait to see what Alhatham's like when you like max him out. That's it. Oh, it is not. Never mind. Their enemies down the hill. They're sieging the farm. Actually, my DPS is so good with Nahida, honestly. <laughs> Watch out! Oh no! Okay, this shield is gonna be a bit annoying, admittedly. It's not too bad. He's being attacked by so many things, he gets stuck blocking all of it for a second, which allows me to hit him more. Oh, except it all stop. There is no escape. Minute to memory. Oh boy. Here you are. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay, dead. Nice. Alrighty then. Okay, the invoice, it's gonna be something shiny. Ah, oh, it's in the pot! Should've no. known. No, it's, uh... Duh, in this random box. This one is... An invoice from One Min Restaurant. Wait, why is it not in the... No, 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 no. That's not it. Ah, it's okay. just here on the ground. This Maybe? This one is... Wong Shung nope. Funeral Parlors. Oh, so they make coffins too. Ah, uh, what do you think? Uh, it makes they sense. Didn't? They're they're woodworking, so 
I, uh, okay, it's not over there. Where, where Am the I missing any other arrows? Is it gonna be on top of the, like, house or something? No? How on earth would it end up up there? I have no idea. Maybe it's about- Oh, there it is! Ah, it's behind. This one is... Second Life's! We finally found it! Nailed Let's it! Let's some voice back to Hoisin! Yes. <laughs> the flip. That was, uh, an excursion. Whew! Did it! Nailed it! What's up? Like the umbrella? Uh, Ms. Ganyu, you're back. Hi! I hope it wasn't too much trouble rushing about like that. Nah, it's fine. We just beat up a random guy. I promise to help you and I'll keep my word. Nothing to worry about. Look, it's the invoice for the transaction between Second Life and Fanmu Carpenters. We've brought it back. Oh, thank you so much. Now we can solve this problem. Agreed. How about we go to Second Life and have a nice chat with the owner? Mm. This poor man is about to get wrecked. Dinner. Poor guy. This is why you don't evade taxes. Oh, it's you? Wait, but the other guy sells flowers. You sell fruits. What the fuck? How's that the same? No, I'm not thinking about it. Welcome, ah. welcome to Second Life. What would you like to buy? I feel bad. This guy doesn't even have a voice actor. Your taxes. A oh, flip. Oh, isn't it Huixin from the Yuhai Pavilion? I remember you. I told you that all of my transactions are included in the records. My tax declarations are scrupulous as well. I do hope that my business won't be affected by any groundless accusations. Groundless accusations? Mr. Dongsheng, you seem very sure of yourself. Uh-oh. But I sincerely advise that you cease this behavior immediately. It is liable to affect the fine you'll need to pay in the end. Uh, no. No. I'm an honest merchant. I would never get involved with any fraudulent sources of profit. Could he have been set up, I wonder? And you've Haven't got no I made shame. Myself clear? Mr. Dongsheng, you've already been proven guilty of tax evasion. I just came here to see if you'd confess. What? P proven guilty? H how come? That's impossible. Absolutely absurd. Hmm. He's talking without rhyme or reason. Must be crumbling under Ganyu's pressure. Or he's been set up. I, I don't know which. Finishing blow. Whoa, here it is. Mr. Dongsheng, can you tell me what this is? I... It... It's an invoice from Fanmu Carpenters. Why the flip would you tax evade furniture? I don't know. I... I'm... Master Lu, he... I didn't... Uh-huh. The flip... Why are you tax evading furniture? I don't know. Do you admit to tax evasion? This transaction was absent from the tax record. Oh, boy. <sighs> I didn't think you'd find out. I didn't leave a single trace. Bro, I mean, obviously you're wrong. There was a trace. My what? guy. Indeed. We wouldn't have found out if it weren't for Mr. Boalai's aid. <sighs> Boalai? That imp from Wanyo Boutique? So he told on me behind my back. Okay, in real life, you wouldn't give your source up because... That's very illegal. Th well, not only that, but now he could be, you know, a target. So... <laughs> He's got his own share of dirty laundry. I'm sure he does. Please don't send us on another quest to get his. Oh? Mr. Dongsheng, I'd like to hear a little more about this dirty laundry. Would you care to elaborate? Time to dig in. I don't think you'll need my guidance for what comes next. Uh oh. <sighs> yes, thank you, Ms. Ganyu. I can take it from here. <laughs> That's good. <sighs> I must say, you're truly impressive, Ms. Ganyu. She has been doing it for th thousands of years. A thousand years, one of the two. Equally impressive. Your enemy knows you best. To think, you came up with this plan and executed it so masterfully did beat up a innocent person in the process of it, but, you know, besides that. <laughs> it's actually one of your father's, the Tianshu's, old tricks. 
I just took some inspiration from it. M uh, my father? Oh. Pitting your opponent against their enemies and watching them drag each other down from an advantageous position, that's how Uncle Tian managed to keep his position in the Qixing secure for so many years. Hmm, I believe it. It also makes things a lot easier. I figured that as Uncle Tian's daughter, you'd naturally grasp your father's strategies. No, it's not that hard of a strategy. So, I decided to use one of your father's tricks and play it out for you to see. <sighs> I can see it now. Clearly, I still have a lot to learn about my father. Nice. I'm really grateful, Ms. Ganyu. <laughs> You're the kindest mentor I've ever had. Thank you. Mm hmm? Ganyu solved both Hoishin's work and family problems. Two birds with one stone. And one Fatui, but you know. <laughs> one innocent bystander thrown in there, but you know. That's besides the point. It was just out enjoying his morning off, eating some raw chicken, picking some berries. But as the game said, he's Fatui, he's scum, it doesn't matter stuff, but we all know that Fatui can, they can be good. They can be good. Bro, they just, they're just members of the military. <laughs> that doesn't make them evil. Oh, you've helped me so much. You must... <sighs> You must allow me to repay your kindness. Ah, uh, that's not necessary. No need to be so serious. It was nothing, really. Then let me treat you to a meal. Hmm? The Traveler and Paimon are invited as well. I appreciate your help. Let's go! Finally someone in a cheesing pays us in some manner. Alright, come on, Ganyu. Just say yes. Let's eat! Let's wait for her decision. If it's just a meal, there's no reason for me to decline. It'll be my pleasure, Huixin. How oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Actually, I've already booked Senor Kiosk. I need a moment to prepare everything first. Let's meet there in a while. It's also interesting hearing Paimon talk the way she used to. Yeah, no, these are old dialogue hmm. lines, yeah. All right. We dare not refuse such generosity. <laughs> Well, time to enjoy some good food. You know, I wonder with some of the voice actors sounding different, could it be because a lot of the like voice recordings were happening during like quarantine? And they were like and their Oh, that home. was before that. Uh no, that was that was around the same time. <laughs> was it? Yeah, it was 2020. So I wonder if like any of them were recording any of these lines like in their home. No idea. I wonder. Well, anyway, here we go. Hi. Uh, I was just wondering, do you have any recipes I can buy? You have one thing. Do. Lovely, fantastic. Have a nice day. Goodbye. <clears throat> Hello there. Miss Ganyu, thank you for accepting my invitation. Ooh. And as for the two of you, That's your presence crap. is also much that appreciated. Is. Sure! That's so kind of you, Huixin. You went to great lengths to organize this. <laughs> Truth be told, apart from thanking you for all the help, there's something I'd like to tell you. Oh? If there's anything I can help you with, just tell me straight away. No need to hesitate. Oh, uh, no, no, I, I don't really need help. Uh, could you just listen for a bit? Sure, we're good at listening to people's problems. With pleasure. <laughs> uh, when I was a little girl, my father used to tell me many stories about you, Miss Ganyu. Even though I have the utmost respect for my father, I always admired how gentle and reliable you are. I've only decided to join the Yuhai Pavilion staff because I've always looked up to you. I didn't know that you think so highly of me. Oh. However, in reality, working at the Yuhai Pavilion turned out to be an arduous task. I can't compare myself to such an outstanding secretary like you. I often doubt myself as a result. 
She literally has been doing this for thousands of years. That's a lot of work experience. I, I yeah, I don't think you need to be uh, comparing yourself to Ganyu. I'm gonna be real. That's a bit unrealistic. <laughs> yeah. I disagree. You're a great secretary in your own right. <laughs> Thank you. Over the years, I became a mother, too. Oh, congratulations. Dang. Huh? So Uncle Tian is a grandpa! <laughs> Influenced by my youthful ideals, she followed my footsteps and came to be a secretary at the Yuhai Pavilion, too. <laughs> Wait, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa! How old are you? I thought you were like... I you were young. I thought you were like 20. Maybe early 30. Like, that. I thought you were super young. But your daughter's already working in a government institution? What the... <laughs> what? Okay. okay. Jeez. Oh yeah. At first, I was worried about her. It's not an easy job, after all. To tell the truth, I'm still unsure if she's capable enough. Believe in her. But after all that happened this time, I've made up my mind to support her choice. Mm. So, what made you change your mind? <sighs> the fact that she'll have you, Ms. Ganyu, as her senior colleague. Nice. Ah. You'll help her, gentle as always, and tell her your mom used to do it like that. <laughs> uh -huh. It'd be such a beautiful moment. That does sound really freaking if wholesome. If it's not too much to ask for, she might still need your guidance in 20 plus years, too. <laughs> Huishin, I... I never thought that I meant so much to you. <laughs> Just like when you showed me my father's trick. Having you as their witness makes people feel at ease. Witness? It's true that I've witnessed thousands of years of Liyue Harbor's history. All the changes whoa, it's whoa. gone through. The stories of its people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Th thousands. P plural. Why are you not running this place? How the freak are you not in charge of most of Liyue already? I guess... Adeptus, man, no wonder the city went to. No wonder everything went to crap as soon as she left for just a week. Huh. Interesting. Sweet. Thank goodness the city doesn't rely on Adeptus. I, 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 yeah, no, I think Leeway kicking the Adeptus out was maybe a bad idea potentially. But I've always anyway. regarded it as nothing more than the source of my loneliness. Question. You don't know how important those words are to me. You've made me realize that I share another connection with the people of Leo by Harbor, apart from my contract with Rex Lapis. Ah, uh, you're contracted with Rex Lapis to be a secretary, I see. Possibly. They rely on me, accept me, and long for me to bear witness to their stories. Hmm. Oh, of course. You're irreplaceable to us. Yeah, you guys seem to actually kind of need her a lot. Mm. <laughs> That's right. That's why I can't disappoint you. Though taking a day off is also pretty nice. Yes, please do that more. You need Hooray! it. Hooray! Ganyu's finally cheered up! Even if I've really been supplanted, I wish to fight for my place. Uh, I won't you let haven't. you down. I'm going to fulfill my contract and keep working as the Chi Sing secretary. <laughs> uh, you haven't been fired. It's a misunderstanding. Regardless, Please. I'll go okay. back and see for myself. I'm afraid that it might have all become a mess during my absence. It has. No time to waste. Let's get back to work. Good luck, Miss Ganyu. Yeah, have fun. Uh, we're leaving already? Paimon's still hungry. We did literally just sit down. No? Okay. Can we eat some of this at least? No? Can I take some? Is there... Can yeah, I... Is I there takeout? I see green beans. There's literally a whole plate of... <laughs> Let me have the green beans! Please! What a waste. Or maybe those are sprouts. Th those may be sprouts, actually. Gosh darn it. Can't have anything nice in leeway. No, no, no. That's for the other people to enjoy. <laughs> We're just passing through. It's for the G-Sing. It's fine. <gasps> Let's just finish our job. And not get paid as usual. You'll get paid. 
You'll get some primos and you'll get like by a the quest bit of mora. By the mora and everything. By the system. But system. not yeah, by I mean, these. Yeah, that's what that's what video games usually do. Sup? Uh, uh, Baisha, are you okay? Did you fall asleep standing up? That's terrifying. Look, look who's back. You even have enough time for leisure? It seems you three are a suitable replacement for me after all. Uh, no, they're about to die. Please help. Not at all. We just... We've been working for too long. If we didn't take a break... We wouldn't have survived long enough to see you again, Miss Ganyu. <laughs> Miss Ganyu, we've missed you. <laughs> That's so kind of you all. Given we've only met once. Really? What? Huh? Huh? Interesting. What do you mean you've only met once? That's intriguing. We've been praying day and night for you to return and take over your duties again. So they didn't miss you. They just missed not doing your work. I mean, understandably. It's kind of us, not possible you're for like humans. An adeptus coming down to the human world to save all life. I mean, most of that. Forget all our envious complaints from before. Just free us from this strenuous work, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, so y'all... <laughs> Alright. Alright, I see. Please divide the matters at hand into government affairs, business affairs, and civil affairs. Mark out the tasks that haven't been started, and those that are in progress. Uh, that's a I'll lot. take care of the rest. Man. Of course. We'll do it right away. Oh, finally. <laughs> We're saved. Uh, yes. There's one more thing. What's up? Hmm. Oh, side thing. Do you think uh, that Zhang Li's uh, contract is for the Fatui to help Li Wei when everything goes down? You know, it could be like something around those lines, potentially, because he made a contract when he gave up the uh, the thing, right? Yeah, his little chess piece. Yeah, um, it could be. Yeah, maybe the Fatui will have to step in and help Li Wei or mm -hmm. something. Well, no, they talk about doing that anyway when it all happens. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it'll be revealed soon, I'm guessing. Or s soon. Soon. Yeah. In like 10 years. In like the next five years, probably. I'd like to earnestly or maybe sooner. thank you, Traveler. If it weren't for your companionship, I would still be embroiled in my inner conflict right now. It's good that you pulled yourself together. <laughs> to think that I'd gained a human friend outside of work. It makes me happier than I could have imagined. Nice. You should probably go outside more. We're here for you, girl. You maybe could have made one sooner. I'd like to repay you when I'm done with the work at hand. What would you say if I accompanied you on one of your trips? That'd be very healthy for you. Yes! Sure, but are you ever done with work on you? No. Hmm. Uh, let's cross that bridge when we come to it, shall we? Oh! Ganyu, we're here! Is that what the lantern ride is this year? You're finally having a day off? If you need to run away, just let us know. We're always there. I'll gladly bu burn them down. What, leeway? Oh, no, just this place. Oh. Oh, okay. If it's only this place! And we're done. Would you look at that? Sickness! Okay, I guess next time, oh, guys, we will be diving into Yalon's story quest because we apparently need to do this one before we kick off the new event. Or it suggests that we do it first. So we're going to do that. I also just went to Yalon's quest because she's awesome. She is pretty cool. <clears throat> and I guess with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for joining us for this adventure. If you liked what, we, what you saw here, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I guess we will, Lord willing, see you guys in the next one. Why are swimming animations? How do you... Oh, you mean the dive bomb? You have to be up... Uh, you have to be high above the water and... What? Yeah, probably need a bigger body of water. Huh? No, I did it. Oh, you did? What? How the fuck I, did I do that? I've always activated it by just jumping into a lake. I don't know. Maybe a different character? Was it Alhatham? Yeah, it was Alhatham. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Maybe do a long jump, like, like, do it. 
Yeah, there you go. I I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> Sorry. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye.